Number 23, which of the following is not a valid physician DEA number? A, AC362434, B, AD212265, C, BC421-7323, or D, BD1245225. And the answer is C, BC4217323 is not a valid physician DEA number. All DEA numbers consist of two letters and seven numbers. To determine if a DEA number is valid, know what each part means. So the first letter is the registrant type. This indicates if it's a physician, physician's assistant, hospital, clinic, um, the, the type of registrant it is. Um, the second letter indicates the first letter of the prescriber's last name. For example, um, if this was uh, Dr. Smith's DEA number, the second letter would be an S for Smith. The next six digits are the unique identifier digits. And then the seventh digit, the very last digit of the DEA number, that's called the checksum digit. And if the checksum digit is correct, it's a valid DEA number. So the checksum digit has to be calculated. Um, the way to do this, you add the first, third, and fifth digits. So with this example, we would add three, two, and three, and that gives us eight. Then we're gonna add the second, fourth, and sixth digits and multiply that number by two. So that would be six plus four plus three is 13, and then we multiply that by two, so we get 26. Now we're gonna add those two numbers together. So eight plus 26 is 34. And then the last digit of the answer, the digit in the ones place, is going to be the seventh digit of the DEA number. It's going to be the checksum. So in this case, it should be four. And so on this one, you can see that it is four. So this is a valid DEA number. So now we'll look at our DEA number that was not valid. So uh, the BC4217323. So first, um, to do the checksum, we'll add the first, third, and fifth digits. So four plus one plus three, that's eight. Now we'll add the second, fourth, and sixth digits and multiply that by two. So two plus seven plus two is 11, then times two is 22. Now we add those two numbers together. So eight plus 22 is 30. Um, and then the last digit of the answer, what's in the ones place, is gonna be our seventh digit, the checksum. So in this case, it should be a zero, it's a three. So um, this is not a valid DEA number. Thanks for watching. For more practice test questions, click below to see my full length PTCB Pharmacy Technician Certification Exam Practice Test that includes 90 questions with explained answers. And if you find this video useful, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe to see more of my pharmacy learning videos. And if you'd like to support this channel with a donation, press the heart thanks button to give me a super thanks. Thanks, I really appreciate it.